just wrapped season four of 90 Day Fiance the other way, which means it's time for... The Couples Tell All. I'm Sean Robinson. Oh, another year younger, Sean. Yes! Hello. Every year she's just... <laughs> Amazing. Like seriously, this woman is 60 years old. 60! Meanwhile, the American cast members start to arrive. I woke up in New York, it feels great. Gabe in the city. And are quick to share their opinions about the other cast members. Chris, you're my favorite. <laughs> not either. I feel like I'm not going to love Debbie's dude in Morocco. Yeah, whatever his name is, Debbie's dude. I know it's gonna be a good day. Oh, uh, your earlobe showing. Oh Sorry, that's not right. Oh, shoulder. Oh, she's showing shoulder? Okay, girl. He's gonna be so mad. Does my mood know about that shoulder girl. He's about to find out. I'm not a fan of Mahmood. Mahmood. <laughs> Mahmood said you can wear it up to here, mm. but now you got like. You're living in my brain right now, Gabe. I'm no longer going to enable his insecurity. How can he treat her like that? Like it was like breaking my heart. Are you going to tell him that today? Yes. Yeah, 100% yes. That's a yes. <laughs> There's always one who just wants to stir things up with everyone. Damn, Gabe, Gabe was just right out with it. Like, I yeah. like you, but him, no. <laughs> he didn't even ease into it. But he didn't have a lot of drama, so he doesn't have a lot of heat coming. True. I'm a fan of Osama. What? He loves her so much. What? I feel like he's genuine. What, Gabe? You don't live in my mind. I can't wait to see what Miss Debbie's going to wear. Hey. Guy. Fabulous. Fabulous. Can you dress us? Like, look at us. We all raggedy. We need Debbie. So much time to reflect. Clearly, many will have changed their narratives. I think people just think I should cook and clean for him because he's hot. Yeah, no, that's not what that? people think. I have been extremely sick. Of course you have. Going through exactly. withdrawals. Has resentment towards me. She should. And then it's her own fault. Ew. She's like, oh, I'm sick. I'm, oh, my, my, my neck, my back, my, my everything. I'm like, Exactly. Before the deep dive, we do a quick check-in with each couple. Have you two been in touch since you left each other? Osama has tried to communicate with me. What? She didn't answer. How many times did you try to call her? Like thousands of times. Thirsty. Debbie, you, Debbie, you weren't picking up that phone because? Because forget him. You know, I needed to heal myself and press a reset button. She met that pool boy. Yes, we are still technically married. Technically. technically married. Have you been in contact at all? Of course they have. We've talked a little. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He does not want to be there. Nicole, you have dressed much less conservatively. He did send the picture to Mahmoud. Oh, he's friend. pissed. Even if this bothers me, it is not a change. She looks amazing. Okay. That was a good answer. Have you two talked since then? No. No. Are okay. you divorced? We'll get to that in a minute, but first let's dive into Debbie and Osama. You know, the old Osama I used to know wasn't a mean person, but now he's a very mean, unkind person. He just oh, takes really? it. Here we go. Osama had to know that nobody was going to be on his side. La señora Debbie, con todo el respeto, dele su tarjeta verde. Or? Y estoy con Osama. ¿Por qué no? Because he's just going to leave her and go with somebody else. That's not what the relationship is about. We're not non-profit. Right. Right. And then she's financially responsible for 10 years. All right, can we get back to holding Osama accountable, please? Were you really in love with Debbie? Yeah, I loved her, but now I don't love her. So why do you keep calling her? I mean, to explain to her that, I mean, like, we have to end this. Mm. Like, no Julian is coming and Just he is out for blood. Please welcome Julian. Julian gonna break that screen. You in my world now, and you lucky you ain't here. They gonna do it. <laughs> right. You in my world now. Okay, Doug. Did you send Debbie a text that said, I love you? I, don't, I can't remember. Of course you can't remember. Debbie, can you please remember? Yeah, he says that he loves me or proclaims he does. You're lucky my mom even gave you a second of her life. Okay, dog. Dog? <laughs> get a job. No, I want to get a job because I'm a poet and I will die for my dream. Your poetry is weak. Did you ever have a physical attraction to her? Yeah, uh, Debbie, why don't you tell them about the night in the Casablanca? I told you they should be in Casablanca. What happened in Casablanca? What? All the gin joints in all the world. And yes, he tried to get amorous with me. He freaky. tried to get freaky? Did they so get freaky? Doesn't seem so. Out. She's too classy to talk about that. She well, is. Sean, How much money do you think you've sent him? In over four years, maybe two, three thousand dollars, which is chump change. Yeah, that's not Okay, that that's not too bad. No, in over four years, you're gonna get presents, like birthday presents, and that's not that much. If only Debbie had an ally. I know where she's coming from. We have big hearts about helping 
other people. Oh, God. Shut up, Chris. Yeah, Chris, you're not part of this. Put your big boy pants on. Go get a job. I can't afford big boy pants. Sell your paintings to tourists. I need someone to understand my paintings. I mean, I'm not selling underwear or something. I'm sorry. Don't discredit his underwear. Bro, I was like on your side so much and you're making me look bad. You were wrong about him, Gabe. Have you been trying to get Debbie back into a relationship? We can't get straight answers Dude, out of him. Yeah, I tried before because me and Debbie we were like a poem. I don't want you ever talking to him again. She need to Osama listen to Julian at this point. If Osama reaches out to you after today, will you respond to him? He'd have to move a mountain for me to respond to him. He's going to do a piece of artwork of him like moving that mountain. mountain. He could start by sending me an airline ticket. No, no. no. She's back in. Turn him off. Just power him down. Get Osama off there. I don't know where this relationship is going. In Hopefully the nowhere. We certainly wish both of you the very best. Debbie, we wish you the best. Osama, kick rocks. Ooh, that was exhausting. I'm sure Debbie's venting endlessly on the break. Didn't you think Jen was kind of cute and nice? Do you think she kind of was like batting her eyes at you a little bit? <laughs> Jen? She's just a cool person. <laughs> <laughs> Jen and Julian? Jen? Wait, what? Where's she even coming up with this? I love you. Wow. Yeah. I just love you. Okay. Oh. How do we not notice that? Her dude, he's kind of acts like Osama a little bit. No, he does not. Osama, you got my number, like... you can give it to her. <laughs> Is she trying to hook? Close this trap with with Jen. Listen, I speak for Rishi and you back off, woman. I was on your side. Rishi and Osama are nothing alike. All right, before I get too fired up, let's move on to Nicole and Mahmoud. Where are you living, Nicole? I'm living in Los Angeles now. And in about like 20 days or so, Mahmoud has his visa appointments and he can come over anytime. Can't wait for that. So you're going to be supporting the both of you. She has to. What other choice does she have? Would that make you uncomfortable if she is making all the money? We are one, not two person. It's the right outlook. Yeah, you don't believe it, but that's cool. Was that your preference, Mahmoud, that she converted before you got married? Of course. I told you here, if you want to be Muslim, it's back to you. But like my kids going to be Muslim. What if you have a daughter? Are you going to force her to wear the hijab and everything? No, Nicole wouldn't stand for that. We not force anybody to do anything. But then why do you force her to change the way she dresses? Good point. It's not your business. Oh. Uh. Oh, my God, I thought you was just going to be between me and here. But what about us? We want to know. I said I will teach them how to be Muslim. How? This yeah. is what and I then said. they choose. Okay. That's not what he said. Don't even say you don't Ooh. force her to do anything because you do. You sound like an idiot. <sighs> Like, honey, it's okay. It's okay. Mahmoud, you've been working on your anger. Nicole says it's okay. It's okay, right? I'm, I'm done. When he's challenged, he walks away. Shut up, us. It is true. When he's challenged, he does, he walk, does away. walk away. Like a child. Clearly, Mahmoud still needs to find his zen, but it's not like he's going to rant and rave in the streets of Cairo. Like, he's so bad way. I want you to help them understand. She doesn't even understand. So how's he going to help them understand? She's right, though. How are you going to change anybody's mind if you just run away and don't actually speak your truth? You're going to force your kids? You I'm so sorry that, that this has put you in such a terrible mood. I really am. Mock mood and a bad mood. Are you even not support me? Like I'm trying to support you. You didn't really give her a chance to support you. I want to see this ass. Who's the ass? Probably me, because I yeah. asked him a question. Yeah. Shut up your mouth, ass. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Well, this is productive. Yeah, right? I just want people to be nice to each other. Whatever, Nicole. You wanted him to, to confront him. Oh, I can't wait for him to come to America. It's going to be so fun. He's not going to know what to I do know. with himself. I want to say sorry to everybody. <laughs> she need a break. Your mother Debbie coming over. Thank you, guys. It's going to be okay. Huh? Lose yourself in my peacock. And if it doesn't work out, there's my son Julian. And that's when we realize Debbie's plan. Step one, get on the show. It's so Debbie. Step two, reject all aspects. Amorous advances. Step three, expose the mole and get out. I don't believe you anymore. Step four, become the season's lovable character. Hugs are always preferred. It's gonna be okay. Step five, scope out the potential castaways. They will gravitate to you because of the aforementioned hugs. Step six, introduce Julian. Didn't you think Jen was kind of cute and nice? Step seven, with your son out of your hair, sit back and enjoy your first cosmopolitan in peace. Now that we've exposed Debbie's long game, let's 
turn up the heat on Gabriel and Isabel. The road to marriage was not a simple one. Yeah, it was pretty simple. Pretty simple. Let's be honest. They had a smooth ride, which leaves very little drama to discuss. Gabe's business is flourishing. Their partnership is amicable. They did try to manufacture a little drama with Gabe's friend. Let's bring Trey on so we can sort this out. <gasps> this is how we're starting? I feel right? like this is the least important storyline. That was like such a small part that didn't even mean anything. When we do go out, Gabe does pull a lot of women. But not purposely. Yeah, what does pull mean? Use your words correctly, Trey. Uh-oh. I don't talk Uh-oh, to nobody. Gabe. He does not Mm-mm. respond to them. However, I'm not going to say that women aren't attracted to him. But if he doesn't do anything, then right. it's not an issue. If he's going to do something, he's going to do it on his own. So she should trust him. I agree with that. Like, if they want to go out to a restaurant or a bar once in a while, what's Isn't wrong with that? What about a club? Maybe he likes to dance. Like, yeah, why not? Like, has he done something in the past that we just don't know about? No, I feel like Gabe's getting too much heat for no reason. He has been getting a lot of heat for no reason. I just want her to trust me more. I'm not finding any women. Me and Gabe don't hang out anywhere outside of her supervision. <laughs> Can't even play basketball? Oh, wait, you weren't really playing basketball anyway. No, es que yo le prohíba cosas, sino que yo simplemente doy mi opinión como esposa. Trey is her friend as well. It's it's not like it's just me and his friendship only. Uh, she called him a dog and a womanizer. <laughs> is that just what they can still say. be friends. Players you get attract playettes. Playettes. He doesn't want her husband around the playettes. Oh God! Stop, Debbie. Did Debbie just make up a term? Solo está tirando una una advertencia de lo que puede pasar. Consequences. Isabel could be bringing in insecurities from previous relationships. That's obviously what's happening. Y así como yo cuido mis comportamientos. But just because his friend is dating around doesn't mean he is. Listen, Isabel, just find Trey a girl that he's going to like, then I'll settle down and all's good. All right, Gabe and Isabel, we're coming back to you a little later. I hope so. We need Monica. From manufactured heat to real heat, we go to Jen and Rishi. You guys had a devastating breakup. I was devastated for sure. You and Rishi have spoken since then. We have. Yay. There's hope. He wasn't going to let it go. He is persistent. Uh, a mutual friend's wedding, and Rishi was also there, and we reconnected. So they're back together? That'd be pissed. I'm not saying that we weren't intimate. Oh! First time in a long time. Yes. How was that? Pretty amazing. <laughs> that was an invasive question, Danielle. You just piped down. And how was it for you, Rishi? Salvation. <laughs> I think oh, Reese no. didn't stand up to his mother for you. Yep. I think he was a coward. You know who stands up for his mother? Julian. He does. Where was your passion for her? You don't her? defend your woman, bro. Did you see him crying like that? He was broken up. Who comes first, your partner or your family? I don't know if that's a question you can answer, though. You can't uh, choose, like, uh, one of them. There he, because, go, uh, there he go dancing. Oh, Y'all understand? They're not being tolerant of his culture. All right, let's move this along. Are you engaged or not? We're not engaged. Fiance still. We all knew that. Does your family know that you guys are engaged? Yes or no? And that's all. No, of course no. they don't. Yes. Really? I'm surprised. There's a lot of things that would have to happen for us to be engaged again. It seems like nothing's changed. So what's resolved? Everything that comes out is just ridiculous. You don't live in India. Did anybody watch Jenny and Submit's story? Please welcome Jen's close friends. Ugh. Oh, God. Myra and Randy. Your first reaction when you found out that Jen and Rishi were back in a relationship together. News to me. Like, I thought she was so done. Little did you know. It's never gonna work. She sounds like the astrologer. You wanna be in my mom's house or do I wanna grow up? Y'all don't understand. He supports his family. He's the only one with income. I think what we're forgetting here is just like how insanely difficult it is to break with tradition. I don't agree. She moved to his whole country for you and you're not even supporting her. It's amazing kind of how closed-minded Gabe is. Especially with his situation, you'd think he'd be a little more open-minded. And I know he's all about freedom, 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 do what you want, do what you want. But there are other considerations, Gabe. You can't just be like always making selfish decisions. Did you ever hook up with anybody else? No. I have a, a lot of DMs on my Instagram. That's it. Uh, Randy, don't start. As you guys know. I can't fish Rishi. I said show me a special part of you. <laughs> I think if you asked Johan for a special part, he'd send a very different... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think Rishi is 100% innocent and honest, but I feel like he's getting more heat than he may deserve. Do you think he was with other women during the time that they were broken up, that six months? Probably. You keep saying stuff like that with no proof, no information at all. Yeah, show us the Just proof. Please welcome Rishi's mom and uncle. Oh boy. You want to tell him, Rishi? They're in the next room. The carpet's separating them. Rishi, do you plan to marry Jen? Yes. We just want to figure it out, like uh, financially also, that we can like live separately. It's just a new excuse. I don't agree. Okay. He has to take care of his family. All you have to say is, Mom, I'm engaged. Who's the host? Sean or Gabe? Shimla, I would like for you to speak directly to Jen. Tell her how you feel. <laughs> And we love you, but you're old. If you want to get married, you need to tell them okay. that you plan to marry me within, at least within the next year and a half. Okay. Tell them right now. Who wants it like that, though? You had to force it. Okay, I'm going to marry with her. No, no, no. I can't do We shall see where this relationship... Wait, there's no follow-up to that? You got follow-up with the parents. Prior to me watching other stories of Indian families, I didn't understand it either, but now I feel like I'm more sensitive to the situation. You still think they're gonna work out? Yep. I kind of think so too. Though. I don't see her pulling away from Rishi. I don't see him pulling away from her. Has the tell-off for some reason detoured into a round of sex talk? It is a special gift you give to someone that is valuable and treasured. Then and he was like, I got a whole treasure chest. Right? I have a lot to give away. We turn up the heat on Chris and Jamie. Hey. Oh, what are you? Stop! Get away! Go ahead, Chris. Start spinning it. Chris, what do you think watching that back? <laughs> Chris, what the F? Don't try to stop me. Don't grab me. Just let me leave. I will calm down. Nobody grabbed you. Maybe you get angry too much or too easily because you run away all the time. I black out. It's um just a defense mechanism. Siento que me enamoré de un engaño. Siento que me... I think that's actually true. I'm working day and night to pay for the bills there. Yo recibí solo una renta. How much money altogether have you sent Jamie? In total on the a whole relationship... About 10 grand. Since you've been married. Okay, there's a big difference. Everything I was doing when I was away was for her. You we weren't even talking to her. Acá tengo la única transferencia que yo recibí de Chris Foster, 746 dólares. I never wanted that apartment. What did it matter? You didn't pay for any of the apartments. When I found out she was cheating on me for the second time, I rolled my car and she was... Oh my God, this lady. It was a $50,000 car. All she had to do was say something to me. How how could she say something to you? You didn't talk to her. When I caught her cheating the first time and she begged me to take her back. This is all before they were married. When she disappeared for like months at a time. So you decided to get married. That's all in the past. Unless it happened after. If you're telling me you love me and you want to be with me and you want to marry me and you're telling somebody else the same thing, you're a piece of but you married her after it. Yeah, so it's all moot. Because we're not talking about the time you disappeared. Chris, was this before you were married or after? This was before. Well, then what are we talking about? Did you consider that cheating on Chris? No, because she disappeared one month. And I, I ghosted her for five this. days because she was calling me when I was at work 30 to 50 times a day. Five days or a month. You couldn't have put it on silent? Oh, Chris, it's not looking good for you. The whole cast is sure to be against you. Chris is the giver. Really? Again? Jamie is the taker, and I know it's very easy to manipulate someone that's... I don't agree, Miss Debbie. A lot of them do this, where they're just looking at their own situation and trying to relate it to someone else's. Even seeing her now, I love her. Oh, I'll shut do anything up. for her. Why are we not bringing up the fact that you physically pushed her? She blacked out. It was probably her narcolepsy. Me dieron explicación de por qué desaparecieron. A mí solo... She never say I'm sorry for this. No, she doesn't take accountability. And then she's gonna say, that's why she cheated on me four times. And next time, that's why she cheated on me five times. Su ex novio me estaba enviando fotos de ella desnuda, teniendo sexo y demás. Eso nadie lo dice. I guess we'll have to follow up on that next week as we've reached the end of Tell All Part 1 and 2. Don't forget to check in on us next week as we'll cover Part 3. Good.